All right, y'all, welcome back. So today we are going to work on cleaning up and uh, re-seasoning this old cast iron Dutch oven that I've got here. Um, this was given to me and my wife by my mother-in-law. And as far as I know, my wife basically always remembers it being around. So uh, at a bare minimum, I know this thing has not been used in 20 years and it could be maybe 40 years old, something like that. Uh, it's covered in a fine layer of dust. It's a little crusty here and there also. Uh, the lid says number three on it. And there's a little bit more writing that I cannot read, but maybe that will become more visible once we get it seasoned. On the bottom of the pan here, it just says classic made in Korea. So I really don't know anything about it. It is a little rusty on the sides. Uh, and has a little bit of funk inside of it, but we're gonna try to get that taken care of So I'm not a cast iron expert by any means uh, I did pick up this lodge cast iron Dutch oven cookbook um, And I'm going to season this thing or re-season it According to what this booklet says there are many different ways you can do it uh, But I'm gonna follow this one uh, And basically that's just gonna be oiling the pan up and sticking it in the oven at 350 for about an hour. Uh, but first, I need to get this thing cleaned up and I'm gonna try to use as little water as possible. Um, I don't really know the best way to clean this thing, but we'll get all this gunk off and hopefully just seasoning it will really kind of take care of the rust that we've got here. But we'll see, because I'd have no idea what I'm doing. So we'll go through this stuff together and we'll see how it turns out. Stay tuned, y'all. Well, first step is I'm just gonna get some of this dust off of here. It's been closed on a shelf in the basement for quite a while. You can see it's a little bit dirty. Okay, so next step, I'm just gonna take a damp cloth with a little bit of uh, dish soap on there and try to get some of this stuff off. I don't really know what that is all about. It's a little crusty. I don't know if that's gonna come off. Maybe we'll just have to get that off via seasoning or something like that. But I'm just gonna do a damp rag with some dish soap on it and then we'll get this thing dried out completely. side yeah. maybe we'll just drop a drop of soap inside of it not too much well, it should be more than enough Okay, we're back. I managed to find uh, some stainless steel um, Scotch-Brite pads. So we're gonna use that. I think that is going to take this stuff right off of here. Oh, much better. There we go. Well, Yeah, it's coming off a lot nicer. You can see this whole edge has got it on there. And it's a little shinier now, but it's come right off. Yeah, the outside's pretty rusty. 
we should be able to take care of that with the seasoning. We'll just knock off what we can with this. Yeah, you can see how nasty it kind of was. That looks a lot better. Now, let's see if we can get this gunk off of here. I think that's pretty good and the seasoning should really take care of the rest of that. We might have to give it two passes though. Okay, now before we get into oiling this up, I need to get the oven going and probably adjust the shelves a bit. Put that down like that and we're going to throw a layer of tin foil on so if any oil drips off of the pan it does not drip into the oven. We are preheating there. Go ahead and set down a, some paper towels. So according to the, the lodge booklet here, let's see it says let it dry completely. It's dry if you've washed it. Uh, use only a good grade of olive oil or vegetable oil or vegetable shortening uh, to season your oven. Let's see. Spread the oil all over the inside and outside of the entire Dutch oven, including the lid and legs. Place the lid and oven inside your kitchen range oven. Place the oven upside down and put aluminum foil under it on the rack beneath so that any excess oil can drain onto that. Close the door, then turn it on and set the oven's temperature for 350 and bake the touch oven and lid for at least one hour. Turn the oven off and let everything cool back down to room temperature with the door closed and the oven is now seasoned for use. But like I said, we might need to do two passes on this one since it, it's uh, pretty, pretty crusty here. But we'll go ahead and give this a fairly, I think since I'm planning to do this twice, I'm gonna give it a fairly light coating, maybe. I don't know, we'll just dump some on here and see how it goes. I've got extra virgin olive oil. And we're definitely gonna need more than that, but you guys can see how dirty it is already. We'll dab it down in there. really sucking that oil in. Okay, let's move on to the outside. I'll give her a dab on the outside too. See how it just covers that rust right up. Sure, you've got it all covered up as well as you can. We might give that a little bit more before we get it in the oven. We'll see here. And then let's move on to the lid.
we are off and cooking. Uh, hopefully this turns out all right, but I'll see you guys in an hour. All right, y'all, we have given it two rounds through the oven, uh, and it has cooled down, I think, to the point where I can at least touch the stuff and bring it out. So let's grab this stuff out of here. It is looking much, much better, and it feels much better. There's still some spotting and stuff on here, but I think in time that'll kind of wear in, or maybe that's just in the metal. Um, but it feels so much better, and the pan itself looks much better than it did before. So, I am pretty satisfied with this, guys. I think... I need to figure out what I'm going to try to cook in this and uh, we will definitely be using this in the next video. So uh, in all reality a pretty simple process but it's not something that I've really ever done before uh, at least properly I guess anyways. So I'm satisfied with the way this turned out. It'll be nice to give this thing some use again because I know it has been in my wife's family for a while. And it was given to us a while ago, and we have not used it yet. So, anyways, guys, stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit. Mm -hmm.